Hello everybody, I'm here in Wak Wak Green Hills and Cherry is having their event here. They have invited the owners of uh, Tigo 8 Pro PH EV and then they are actually training them and to listen to their questions and answer them and support them. So I'm really surprised because we were just few and then they managed to open this plug-in hybrid event just to support the owners. So that's really fantastic and huge shout out to Cherry Auto Philippines. And I'm gonna be interviewing a few owners why they have decided to buy the Tigo 8 Pro PHEV. Let's go. Hi, sir Manuel. Uh, nice yeah. to meet you. Yes. Nice to meet uh, you. Yes. Uh, you're you're driving a Tigo 8 Pro PHEV. Yeah. Well. How how long did you own the vehicle? I bought it last uh, first week of uh, November, but I only got it uh, on the last week, last 23. Mm -hmm. So barely one week. Oh, <laughs> one week. <laughs> okay. What made you decide to get uh, a plug-in hybrid and not? normal hybrid or full EV why plug-in hybrid why plug-in hybrid mm -hmm. because I'm considering first is to support uh, our climate change mm -hmm. that's the very reason mm -hmm. and, and, uh, now uh, you know the prices of uh, yes. gasoline and uh, I was considering a, a mild hybrid but mm -hmm. uh, when I was able to check on the specs of the cherry uh, plug-in hybrid, I changed my mind immediately oh. and I uh, decided to get this uh, type of vehicle. Oh, so what were your other options before Cherry Tigo 8 Pro? Well, uh, I don't want to mention the other brands, <laughs> okay. but uh, you know there are so many yeah. uh, vehicles, uh, other brands uh, that are uh, mild hybrids, but uh, considering that uh, the vehicle was purchased purposely for uh, city driving mm -hmm. and a short range mm -hmm. so I decided to uh, get the uh, plug-in hybrid okay in the next generation of Tigo 8 Pro plug-in hybrid what do you think should be added like what option do you think it requires well I believe the just uh, no, the uh, I, uh, the better uh, one is uh, the pure electric, which mm. can be used uh, mm -hmm. within city, although a long distance one. But uh, the plug-in hybrid is uh, already uh, no, uh, good. Ah, it's for, already good. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and I will see you probably after maybe one year or two years, and then maybe I'll ask you again. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe. Thank you. Uh, I will interview now from the latest point of view. Um, you are driving the Tigo 8 Pro PHEV. Yes. And then how long did you drive it? We've had it for about a month now. Okay. Um, why did you choose a plug-in hybrid uh, aside from the normal hybrid? We chose the plug-in hybrid for the savings. We know how high gas prices are mm. now. So we were picking between a RAV4 hybrid and this one. So mm. they're roughly about the same price, but mm. um, we chose this one. Because yeah. RAV4 is not a plug-in hybrid. Yes, it's not. Mm. It's just a regular hybrid. Yeah, so we don't want no regular we hybrids. No regular. <laughs> uh, and then, um, what were your other options? What other cars? Because there are other plug-in hybrids. Yes. Did you have any other option? We were looking at uh, the BYD. The uh, BYD song, is yeah, really yeah. a strong competitor, yeah, it seems. It it's not the first time that it was mentioned. So if BYD you're watching, yeah. Cherry is coming. So better upgrade your services. And then uh, if there were improvements that you want in your current, what other options that you would want in the next upgrade? Uh, hmm. Well, it's hard because the car now is very nice. We're very happy with it. But maybe if it can have a spare tire, that would be useful, mm, especially yeah. with how the Philippine Tama. roads are. You're right. Yeah, and maybe more air vents, especially for the second and third row. Ah, I had a question. Ah, from the ladies' uh, point of view, is it 
uh, somewhat easy to drive or is it do you recommend it to ladies or first time drivers? Yes, it's easy to drive. Even if you're a newbie in driving, I found it easy. So, What are the uh, features that makes it easy? Well, it's, it's like any other regular car. So I think the adjustment only is that it has less buttons. Everything is screen. Mm. So it's quite futuristic. Okay. But everything else was easy to adjust to. What can you say about the unbeatable warranty of Cherry? Oh, seven years. Actually, I don't know much about warranty, but my dad says seven years is long. So. Yeah, all right. So thank you for telling us your honest opinion and congratulations thank on your you, purchase. Thank you. Okay. Well, and your name, please. Ah, uh, Sharla. Hello, sir. Patrick, uh, may I know what car you are driving? Tigo. Tigo 8. Pro 8. And is it a plug in hybrid? Yes, it's a plug in hybrid. Oh, see? The people here have open mind, open minded kaba. Uh, how many, what is the mileage? 7,000 now. 7,000? Wow, so it's not a new car anymore. So how is it so far? So I'm going to buy another one. You're going to buy another one? Because you say it's not a new car. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, somehow it already got, uh, went through the break-in period already. Yes, so that's you correct. had your PMS already? Uh, not yet. Oh. I think the PMS is at 10,000. Oh, 10,000, so it's once a year. We didn't know the sun is going to shine like this here, but it's shining and we're burning, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, where is the farthest destination you went? The furthest is probably uh, Los Baños. Los Baños, uh, right. Laguna. Laguna, right, okay. about 80 kilometers from the city. Okay. But you are very confident to bring it farther. Oh, yes. I think my colleagues have gone up to Pangasinan, mm -hmm. huh? Talak. Oh. All right, it's gone up to Talat. Oh. I think that was about 120 kilometers away. Okay. What was uh, other options that you could have bought? What other car could you have bought? BYD. Oh, BYD. <laughs> so why did you choose Cherry? I buy both. <laughs> okay. So we have an a electric vehicle enthusiast, Sir Patrick. Okay. Um, if, if there are some room for improvement, what are those? I think the improvements are simple. You know, maybe the... The, the back, you mm. maybe have an automatic power gate. Power gate, yeah. Okay. And then I think we should have more English uh, uh, user information on the dashboard. Mm, the I, think, I think that is simple. The interface, uh, yeah, it's that is just the software. The software. But the right. hardware. The hardware, I think, is okay. Oh, yeah, right. I think it's pretty smooth, right? Okay, yeah. so can you give one message to those people who will buy, who are wanting to buy, who are not yet decided? Can you tell them? Uh, invite them to try the Cherry Tigo 8 plug-in hybrid. Can you invite them? Like others who will watch this, maybe they will say, oh, maybe I will try, but they're not to decide that. Can you uh, make them decide? Can, uh, can you influence them? Yeah, I think once you lay your hands on a hybrid or EV, you can feel the difference. Try it for yourself. If not, you will never know All right. how it works. Right. <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, we have, you're Jay Santos, right? Yeah. Oh, see, we have Jay Santos who used to drive the Gili Coolery. His video is actually in the channel, so good to have you. Good to see you in the Cherry event. For the audience, uh, can you tell me what was your previous car? Uh, Gili Coolery Sport. 2020 model. 2020 model and he was happy and generous enough to let me drive it and also have an interview about owning a Geely. Now he has a 2022 Cherry Tigo 8 Pro p -Hev. What made you decide to um, shift from Geely to Cherry? Did you have any issue in with Geely? Um, most of the issues naman with Geely is uh, concentrated with uh, the parts um. but um, I'm mostly uh, gearing towards uh, electrification kasi. Wow. Yeah, that's why I chose the PHEV. What made you decide na Cherry and not other brand? First is uh, they have a lot of uh, parts and their, uh, their fleet of cars is also uh, very beautiful right mm. now. That's why. Um, and they also have the uh, longest range for the PF variant mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. compared to the other PF variants here in the Philippines. Oh. 
So I think there are lots of options naman for electrification, like the Nissan e-Power Kicks. Yes, yes. In Toyota, Corolla Cross, mm -hmm. Altis, and Camry, mm -hmm. there are a few, like BYD. Yeah. But uh, why did you decide on plug-in hybrid? We're still, uh, we're still lacking for the charging infrastructure here. So that's why uh, I think the, the plug-in hybrid is the best uh, choice for me. Any issues? Uh, so far, no issues. No major issues. How many kilometers already? Uh, I just reached 5,000. 5,000? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are reaching a similar range of... In four months of driving. Four months of driving. Yeah, yes. like kicks is also, most of them are like 5,000. Yes. So we will get back to Sir J after maybe a year or two or three <laughs> and then see if he's still happy with the service and the car itself of Cherry Auto Philippines. Okay. Yes. Any, oh, last one, oh. any improvement? Sana in the future, ganito ganyan, sana may additional ganito. I can't think of any for now. <laughs> oh, you're very satisfied. Yeah, we're okay. very satisfied with it. All right, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Wow, hybrid plug-in. So what's happening is, this one will be attached here. Courtesy of Cherry Auto Philippines, they love their customers. So give it a try, open your mind, open your heart. That's the end of the video. So if you are open-minded, please do try out different hybrids, but please do try out the plug-in hybrid, the Tigo 8 Pro of... Please do try out the plug-in hybrid of Cherry, the Tigo 8 Pro, Kihev. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Your dreams come true.